Hey guys, what's up? It's DSilver17 here, and today I have an Android versus iOS video. Okay, I put a lot of thought in this, so here we go. So, I respectively chose each platform to their specific device that I think would be used the most on. So, for here on Android 4.4.4 KitKat, I'm using this on a 2012 Nexus 7. Now, this obviously isn't going to be your main device, but I use this because a tablet is mostly used for productivity and things like that. And I think Android is good for things like that. Obviously, you won't edit stuff on a 2012 tablet. I think you'd be getting a little newer tablet. And here we, here we go on iOS. We have the iPhone 5S running the latest version of iOS 7. So let's start with the lock screen here. So, on iOS, when you load the phone up, you have the time, the date, and your status bar. Nothing really that big, but then if you swipe up here, you'll have your camera, slide to unlock, put in your passcode, or if you have the 5S or up, you have Touch ID. Slide over again, and you slide down. You have your notification center with those three sections, with a couple of widgets in there. And that's kind of it. It's kind of like the bare bones kind of lock screen. But if we take a look at Android here, if you... If you load Android up, you have you have many different styles of how you want to unlock your device, whether it's a pin or a combination of numbers or letters or anything basically you want. I just thought of those at the top of my head. Right now I just have this simple one where you just slide to any of the outer ring. Here we have you can actually add widgets to your lock screen on Android, along with the swiping up to get to Google Now. Uh there is no camera shortcut on here, but if you have a phone I believe you would. If you swipe down here, you have quick settings, and you swipe down on the left here, you have your notifications. In terms of music, we all know that iOS has probably ruled the music industry for a while now, but Google Play isn't that bad. I mean, you still have the top songs out there, I and mean, you can go to music, and you can go to the genres, and you can, you know, you can select all your genres here, children's music you have. You have a wide selection, and you won't be really missing anything. A lot of times, if a producer releases something on iOS, they're going to release it on Android because there's a lot more. Um, uh, there's a lot. There's a. There's also a lot of market market value on Android and iOS. iOS, I guess you can say it rules the music industry as of now. But just so you know, Google Play, you won't be missing anything with that. As you can see here, iOS in terms of looks just goes with a you know a flat kind of UI, nothing really popping out. I mean the colors are very vibrant and stuff like that, but maybe you're not into that. Maybe you want something more like Android, but the kind of the color is black here, and like everything else just fills in around that. You see, I kind of don't mind either of them. They each look pretty decent. As you can see here, you can put widgets, your applications. Getting a little off topic there, but um. Yeah, iOS has more of a uh, flat, colorful kind of feel, while Android has more of a, not, not bulky I would say, but just bigger, more bold kind of, uh, yeah, bigger, a bigger, more bold kind of feel to it. With Android though, a lot of things revolve around your Google account, at least for stock Android is what I know of. <laughs> Um, with iOS, it just kind of goes around your iTunes account and whatever the heck you put into there. But with Apple's ecosystem, everything just works a lot better. So if we go over here on Android and we go into the home screen, we have basic, you know, you put your i, you can drag and drop icons from the icon tray here. You can just hold on one and drag and drop and put that anywhere. You can create folders like I have here. You can store up to, I think, unlimited. I'm not really sure. I haven't really tested that. Um, you have your Play Store, your movies, your music, you know, you have the basic stuff, your books, the newspapers, Chrome, the browsers. Uh, so you can put widgets here. Here I only have a time and date widget right here. Nothing really special. And then up at the top here, it, every, every home screen on Android, if you're running stock Android, comes with Google Now. And Google Now will stay up there. It can also be put down as a widget, but I prefer it to just be up there. On iOS here, it's been the same story for a while. You have icons and folders, and that's kind of about it. You have really no sort of customization available to you. But what is coming in iOS 8, as of this video, it's iOS 7, is customizable keyboards and some widgets. And that's, that's a step, but it's nothing like Android's custom, custom ability. See, if you swipe down here again, you still have your notification center, but if you swipe up, 
you have your control center which allows you to access a bunch of quick settings which is pretty handy it's kinda like the Android quick settings that you swipe down from the top right I prefer Androids though as it is a little more useful for me because you can add if, if you download a, you can download a custom launcher on Android and do anything you want with this you can put anything in anywhere in terms of apps I really like how Android has the Google Play Store now right here you can choose from thousands of apps just at your fingertips uh, you have apps specifically di designed for tablets or for smartphones so you'd go to games and you could choose the top free and you can ba basically just browse a bunch of apps it's kind of the same thing on iOS if this would just load up here you go into your app store top charts you can go to the top free and you can scroll down and look at all your apps and you'd install them right there and that's kind of about it they both have a lot of apps there's no doubt about that in terms of quality apps I like the way iOS's apps are usually when you have an app made for iOS and or Android the iOS app seems to be just a little more polished and a little more smooth because Android remember you have a, uh, hundreds of devices you have to account for it it can't be the same experience on each device depending on your settings Another advantage Android has over the iPhone is how to share certain things. You have a lot of options when it comes to Android. So here we go. I have this picture loaded up here in my photos, and I want to share this. Oh, I installed Instagram. I want to dire directly upload this thing to Instagram. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, look, there's Instagram. You know, that sort of thing. When you download an app where a picture can be shared, it'll show up when you want to share a picture. But with Apple, you want to go here. You would go to this. To sh these are your sharing options right here not that many compared to Android if you look at that again and I mean if, if I really wanted to upload this to Instagram I have to go into the Instagram app and stuff like that but this thing can do it all right here and that's what I like about Android if you want to share something anything could be a website could be a video anything you want to share it's 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 a lot easier to do on Android as opposed to iOS um, I think that will be changing though when it comes to iOS 8. Right now, my iPhone is on iOS 7. I will have an updated version of this when the new Android L comes out and the iOS 8 will come out. Another thing that I like in Android is how you're not limited to how you want to customize your device. Say I want to change the whole entire look and theme of my device. I really don't like that notification center. I really don't like the home screen layout or anything like that. So I will go into the Google Play Store, click on the uh, apps, go to the personalization category I can go to the top free and I can get emojis I can get Nova launcher you can get a bunch of launchers that will totally change how your device looks and with iOS that's just not possible there is just no such thing on iOS that can do the same thing that that you can do on Android and that's a big plus for Android because if you really don't like the look of something on iOS you're kind of stuck with it until Apple releases a new software that you may 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 like or may not like but if you go with Android you can do whatever the heck you want and you can run your system your way. Another thing on Apple, Apple's part that I like is how everything just works together so much better. I can have an iPhone as I do right here with a Mac, and I could sync up their songs so they have the exact same songs. So I, I could probably do that on a, on a computer, just a regular PC and this tablet, but it just wouldn't be the same how it works over here. I can sync them across Wi-Fi, which you really can't do on an Android device. You know, everything just works seamlessly between your iOS devices. And if you would download the Chrome app, you can pick up how you want, how you left off on a desktop or something like that. But in terms of just like uh pick up watch it in another room you know how you would sort of do on like those new tv stuff and all that it, it's it works a lot better here on ios than it does android android just has really no no um answer to that as always guys like comment or subscribe sorry for being a little late here i was a little busy over the last couple weeks i'll try to post more often uh, leave your comment. I want. I want to know what you guys think about this. So leave your comments in the comments section. I, I want to know if do you guys use an Android for tablets, for smartphones, how you use iOS. Again, just leave that in the.